everyone good day everyone and welcome to today's tutorial i'm your tutor for the day sima gold um and i'm going to be teaching us on how to draft a palazzo pant trouser with a netted down at the down part of the trouser using a bias and this is your bias um feel free at the end of the tutorial if it's useful to you please kindly give me a thumb up and kindly subscribe to my channel i promise you great and great contents now straight to our palazzo pant um the uh, measurement we are going to be using for this we have our waist measurements we have our lap measurement our knee measurement our waist measurement is 29 that is your waist circumference your lap measurement is 22 the lap circumference your knee circumference is 15 and I have my waist to knee, which I'm going to be using as the breaking point for the netted down and the upper part that has your fabric. Then I have my trouser length. I um you can choose to make your trouser length um, to a quarter trouser length. You can choose a long trouser length. Then I have the hip measurement of 37. And let's start. First thing first, I'm going to be um looking for my crush depth. And how do I calculate for my crush depth? That is my hip divided by 4. My hip here is 37. And um, 37 divided by 4 gives me 9.3. So the first thing first is I'm going to be getting my crush depth, which is now 9.3. But because I'm going to be using a band for the waist of this, of this pant, I'm going to be taking away 1 first, which will serve as the band. And I'm going to be taking away one which will serve as the band and complete my 9.3 here. Now I have my crush depth. The next I'm going to be taking is my waist to knee. Still, my one inch is away. Waist to knee is 16 inches. And I'm going to be taking this 16 inches. Take note that this 16 inches could be here. Yeah, it's just going to serve as your breaking point where you want the netted down to start from. And this is my trouser length. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to get my gray lines or my midpoint. Um, gray lines midpoints are just just to get an equal part of the of the um, bodies so that your measurement can balance. And the way I'm going to be calculating my gray line is this: my hip is um 37, 37 divided by four would give me 9.3 so i'm going to be doing 9.3 minus 3 inches which is giving me 6.3 so what i'm going to be doing from this edge i'm going to be taking 6.3 i'm going to be taking 6.3 straight down And I'm going to be measuring another 6.3. I'll still continue with my 6.3 just to get a workspace for myself. Just follow this tutorial easy peasy. You're going to get a very lovely outcome. Trust me. Now, this is all I need for my trouser. The next I'm going to be doing now is, from here, from the line of my crush depth, 
by this side I'm going to measure three inches three inches and three inches upward is standard for an adult pant is standard for I'm going to measure in three inches is standard for an adult pant the next thing I'm going to be doing is to measure my waist my waist is 29 divided by by 4 gives me 7.3 I'm going to start here and measure my 7.3 now the next thing on this crush line I'm going to be putting my lap measurement and the lap measurement I have is 22 so what I'm going to be putting here I'm going to be dividing 22 by 2 which gives me 11 11 for the um, 11 for the front part of the trouser 11 for the back part of the trouser you know your trouser is two leg for a pair so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to take from this um i have 11 for the front which is what i'm drafting i'm going to take 5.5 which is half of 11 from this middle line down here and i'm going to be taking another 5.5 down here the next thing i'm going to be doing is to curve it i'm going to curve it from this place from this place into that my three inches that I draw. Now please take note this three inches is standard for adults. It's standard for adults. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to co connect my lap measurement to my waist measurement. That being done, I'm going to go down to my knee part. And my knee circumference is 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Now, what I'm going to put my 7.5 here, as usual, what I'm going to be doing is 7.5 divided by 2, that is 3.75. So, what I'm going to be doing is take 3.75 from this middle line down to this place, 3.75 down here. I'm going to connect from my lap down to my knee. Now I can choose to use my um, toe measurement for the down part, but for this tutorial, it's I want it to have um, a palazzo look. Like I want it to be free. So and I want my freeness to be like the um, measurement of my knee. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this my knee measurement which is 3.7 down to this part down to this part and the next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect the next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect and with this the front part of our trouser is ready but take note please at the waist part of your pants like i'll keep emphasizing in all other pants tutorials too you come down by one averagely this works for say everybody and you just simply connect down to the waist tip and the next thing we are going to be doing is to cut out our And this is what you have for the front part of your trouser. Now we are going to be going to the back part of the trouser. Please take note that this um, particular tutorial is basically when you are making a palazzo pant. But remember that we are making a palazzo pant that has a netted down which is going to be uncrafted with bias. So now for the back part of the trouser, I've taken my um, front bodies. The back part of the trouser, please take note that this is strictly for when you are making this kind of trouser. So for Palazzo too, you can take some steps here. But I, I'll be putting a link of the other video for my Palazzo pants 
full tutorials so you can watch that also the next thing you're going to be doing is to come from this part you go in you go out this is for the back part now by 2.5 see trust me when you use this you are going to like the outcome use this for an adult pants and you're going to like the outcome then from the waist here come upward come out by 1.5 And the next thing you are going to be doing is to blend. After that, I'm going to be connecting with my pant curve. Your name is if you don't have a pant curve, you can use um, your free hand. Just be good with your sketch. You connect. When you are done doing that, you go upward from this waist part, you go upward by 2 or 2.5. And the next thing you're going to be doing is to connect to the tip, to, your, to the waist. Connect. And after that, we can see that the back part of our trouser is ready. So now we have the front part of our pants and we have the back part of our pants. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be noting where I want the naked down part to start from. And um, what I have here in my measurement, I have 15 inch. So meaning that I'm going to make sure that they are all aligned at the same part, both front and back. So the only all, all I need to do is to get here, use my tracing wheel, make sure your hand is as firm as possible when tracing. You raise the front part, you take this part, you mark. So what I'm simply going to be doing now is to cut out. But before you cut out, take note of here is your side front. So I'll write SF and my center front, which is CF. I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to be writing my side back, SB. And I'm going to be writing side front, which is SF. So the next, the OK, which is, um, sorry, um, that your side, your center, your center back, which is CB. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out. What I'm trying to do now is to cut out the part that I've been using for the netted down. Now you can safely keep this because this is what you're going to be using for the upper part of the trouser. And so we are going to be focusing now on this. I'm going to be taking my side back and my side front. Let me see write it. My side back and my side front. And I'm going to be masking both together. I'm going to be masking both together. Now this is my side back. And this is my size for you see why you need to really really label them you really need them label so what am i going to be doing i'm just going to um let's say 
the netted part I want, I want the um, distance to be one one inch. So I'm simply going to be taking note of from here, I'll mark one inch, one inch, one inch, just continuously till you get to the end of your pattern. Then I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to keep marking my one inch. You can also just just keep marking. So what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an horizontal, a vertical line straight, and um, we take this way. We take this way. Continue to 